Welcome to our next steps with QDOS video where we're going to give you some simple things you can do to help more people find, understand and potentially cite your research. We'll start by adding to your story page. So you've already done the basics and added a what's it about and a featured image, but there's more information you can add to your page to help more people read and understand your work. So the first thing you can add is a plain language title. This is a non-technical short title to help people really understand in a nutshell what your work is about. Then you can add a why it's important. So this is why is your work timely? Why is it unique? Why should somebody be interested in reading your piece of work? And finally, you can add an author perspective. So these perspectives are personal and often it tells a little bit more about the research team behind the work. So why this particular bit of work is important to them, how it fits in with their career growth. And by adding those fields, you're more likely to have your work discovered by search engines and more likely that people will find and understand and therefore potentially cite your work. Look out on the right hand side for the recommended action where you have a percentage complete and the system also recommends what action you should take next in order to maximise the readership of your work. Here's a nice example of a page where the authors have completed all of the different fields. So at the top here we've got the plain language title making it really clear what the work's about. We have the what's it about and the image, the why is it important and then that personal perspective giving a bit more information about the team behind the research. And by including those additional fields, you're much more likely to be featured nearer the top of our various showcases, whether that's a publisher showcase where we include everything from a specific publisher, a university showcase where we bring together everything from researchers from the same university, or at showcases for different subjects such as life sciences where we bring together everything in a particular subject area. And by including the image and that uh, short plain language title, you really can see how nicely these pages look and how much more likely they are for people to click through, read and therefore potentially cite your work. The next step is to invite your co-authors. By asking your co-authors to join you and add their own personal perspectives to the page, you increase the chances that your work will be found, read and understood. In this example, three different co-authors have each added their own personal perspectives, which gives you a real sense of the team behind the research. Inviting your co-authors to add their perspectives is really easy. Go to the edit page and on the right hand side you'll see a link where you can invite your co-authors and that will open an email where you can customise it and send them an invitation to come and join you. You can also ask your co-authors to share your article page on different networks. They may have different networks to you so you maximise the chance of more people finding it if they're also helping to share your work. The last step in this video is updating your author profile. So everybody in QDOS has their own author profile. Go to your hub and click on view public profile and you'll be able to see how your page looks. So here's an example of one of our users. You can see their name, uh, their photo if they've chosen to add one, their institution, their country, their subject, and then all of their different stories are listed out there uh, with links through to the actual page, but also to the co-authors that have also claimed. So it's very easy for users to navigate around uh, and find more research by you and your colleagues. You'll see also there's an opportunity on the right to include contact details if you want to, and also links to other social platforms and profiles such as ResearchGate, Twitter, Orchid, and so on. So to add that information, click on the edit page button, and that will take you to your profile tab on the hub where you can easily add your photo. It really makes a difference if you add a photo, but you can also add another picture if you want to. I'd encourage you to fill out as much of this as you can, the role, your subject area, your country. Include your institutional affiliation, just start typing the name of your institution and select from the list. And also include links to your other social sites and profiles so that more people can find you and connect with you if they want to. And the more information that you add, the easier it is for people to find you, the more likely it is that search engines will link through to you as well. So it really is worth a few minutes to add that information. So those are your next steps with QDOS. Start by adding more to your story page, add a nice plain language title, why it's important and a perspective. Invite your co-authors to join you, add their perspectives and also create trackable links and share across their networks so that you maximise the chances of your work being found, read and understood. And finally, updating your author profile. Add a photo, fill in your subject, add your institution and your contact links to different profiles such as ResearchGate and Twitter so that more people will find you and your profile. Thank you so much for watching.